Hi, in this lesson, we'll learn a simple sales cycle that is how to create a sales order using transaction code VA01 and then create a delivery with T code VL01N and then create an invoice for with the T code VF01. For all the creation, we can use the transaction code ending with 01 and to change, we can use the 02 and to display we have to use 03. So let's log into SAP system and first create a sales order with T code VA01. To create the sales order, enter transaction code VA01. We can use the sales order type based on the configuration in the system. Here I am using ZOR sales organization distribution channel and division. On initial, initial screen, you have to enter all this detail, then press enter. Here, enter the sold to party, that is customer ID, press enter. In the PO number, in this field, you can maintain the PO number of the customer. This optional field, if you want to maintain or keep it blank. So based on the configuration, there might be other fields which are mandatory, optional, so that will differ system to system. And here in the material, enter the material ID for which you want to create a sales order and enter the quantity. So I'm entering quantity as 3. Now to enter the price, double click on the article number and go to condition stack. So here we can see the condition is automatically det determined based on the condition record. In next session, I will explain how to create those condition records. So here you can see the condition is auto determined. In the analysis, we can check how it is determined. So this condition record is already maintained in the system based on this material code. Go back. If you want to add it, you can change the conditions. I am entering as 25 and there is a addition charges on this total amounts is becoming 77.78.75 and there is a tax amount of 22. So all those records are coming based on condition record. Go back to check if any other fields are mandatory. Click on edit and then click on in completion log. Based on the incompletion log, system determines in which field we need to enter some data. So here we can see for the line item 10, we have to enter WS element. Either we can double click here or we can also go from this screen. Double click on the material and go to account assignment. And here we have to enter WS element. Go back. Again check the incomplete completion log, so there is no error, so you can save the sales order. So you can see the standard order ending with 154 has been saved. Now next we will create the sales delivery. For that, go to T code VL01N. By default, the order number is here. If it is not appearing by default, we have to enter that manually and enter the shipping point press enter. Before creating delivery, we should have sufficient stock in our inventory for this material. So here for example, we have three quantity, but I want to deliver only two. So I'm making as two, quantity two, and click on post goods issue. Once you click on post goods issue, our inventory will get reduced by two quantity. Either we can save or we can directly click on the post goods issue. If you save, so only delivery will be created and stock will not get reduced and will not able to do the invoicing. But sometimes some company follow two step procedure. First they create a delivery and then sometimes they might have the warehouse management system, sometimes SAP standard or third party system. Then through that process, they first issue the material and then they do the PGI. Some company follow one step, some company follow two step. So here 
I'm doing in one step only. Directly I'm creating the post goods issue. So you can see the outbound delivery ending with 72 number has been saved. Next last step is creating the invoice. For creation of invoice, go to VF01. By default, the delivery number will come here. If not, we have to enter manually. Based on the configuration, on the delivery type and the copy control method, system will automatically define automatically determine the billing type. We don't have to select here. And if you want to enter the billing date manually, select the date here, or system will select by default today's date. So here I am entering only the delivery document number. Press enter. You can see the by default F2 that is invoice is selected based on configuration. To see the condition detail, we can also double click here and check the conditions. This is the item level condition and to check the header data, click on header data. Then click on save button. So here you can see the document number 48 has been saved. This means that the invoice is successfully created. To check the accounting document, just go back and enter the code VF02. And here click on accounting. Till the accounting document is not created, the invoice will not be considered as completed. So to check the accounting detail, double click here. So here we can see the customer account is debited and the remaining respective GS are credited. Those are the accounting entry posted after creating of the invoice. And the posting date is today's date by default because we haven't given any date on the initial screen. So in this way, you have seen how simply we can create the SAP sales order, delivery and invoice using the T-code VA01, VL01 and VL01N. Next session, I will try to explain how to create a condition record and how to create a new incompletion log. Thank you.